Mr. Chairman, I'd like to ask Ashley Ty to come up and give you an update on the pending weather situation. Yeah, I'd, I'd hoped I could go a whole season and not have to <laughs> talk to you all about this. But um, we do have a tropical storm that is um, brewing out in the, in the Gulf of Mexico. And over the weekend, um, the, it has significantly um, changed and intensified. They're actually, the latest forecast calls for it to um, get almost a major category major strength, which would be a very strong Category 2. Um, the, the one thing that's still uncertain is exactly where the, this morning's um, forecast shifted a little bit to the west. So uh, that, that's good for us in a sense, but we're still very much within the error cone. Um, so when you look at the graphics either on the website or, or the National Hurricane Center's website or, or briefings that, that we put out um, understand that the the shaded white area doesn't mean that that's the area that's going to be affected. It means that two-thirds of the time that's where the storm could end up anywhere within that area. Um, typically what, what we've been able to um, judge is that wherever the track is now, that's not where it's going to be. Yeah. Um, it's going to shift one way or the other. And a lot of that is going to depend on from what they've been saying as to how fast it's moving. If it moves a lot faster, then it's going to turn slower and end up further to the west. Um, but regardless, <clears throat> um, we have uh, right now there's about a 60 to 70 percent chance that we will see tropical storm force winds. So with that, um, we'll get the at 9:30 when I leave here, have a webinar with the National Weather Service in Tallahassee. And that will provide us with the most up-to-date information. Um, but unless something significant has happened between 8 o'clock and when we talk at 930, the, um, we're going we're gonna to begin preparing for um, tropical storm conditions here in Lowndes County. Um, I've already spoke with Colonel Short at Moody this morning. Um, they're, they're beginning their preparations. Um, it'll, it'll, even a little earlier than that, obviously, logistically, it takes a lot more. So um, communicating with them as far as what, what we're looking like here in Lowndes County and how that might affect them. And uh, like I said, after the 930 briefing, I anticipate that we'll have some conversations with um, schools and, and, and some local local businesses to, you know, make sure everybody has the information. Um, I, I don't, <clears throat> don't want to minimize. I, don't anticipate this being like Hurricane Irma was last year, but um, you know we we will expect we will see some heavy rainfalls. I think the latest estimate for Lowndes County we're looking at at um, four to six inches of rain. You dump four to six inches of rain and then have you know 40 mile an hour winds. You know trees are going to fall, power is going to be out. Um, so if people you know we're going to encourage people to take the precautions they can now and make sure that um, when the power does go out, you know, that does just being out without power doesn't constitute um, an emergency. You know, our, our, our focus is, you know, Robin's crews are going to have done a great job. They keep our drainage infrastructure ready to go. Um, so I, I think the, the rain and the wind we can handle um, as we have in the past. But um, it's just going to be, you know, making sure we've got all those preparations and, and tightening up those those last few details. So uh, hopefully the forecast will change in our favor over the next couple of days. But um, at this point, we are going to um, go ahead and start planning that, that we will see some impacts. So any questions? Any questions? We should start seeing that Wednesday, you're thinking? Uh, so the, this so they, they provide us with two graphics. They're, the earliest reasonable means, um, like this is worst case scenario. So it's it's reasonable but not likely that we could start seeing some impacts Tuesday night. But the most likely time would be, um, you know, after daybreak on Wednesday morning. So we'll probably make sure that just in case, because a lot of times, even if they get the, 
forecast right. They know, hey, this is where it's going. This is how strong it's going to be. The timing is always an issue. So um, for planning purposes, we'll probably be planning on making sure we've got everything in place by Tuesday night with the um, hopes that, you know, Wednesday morning is when we'll start seeing uh, the majority of the impacts. Yes, sir. Any other questions? Ashley, again, thank you very much. Thank I you. know you'll be right on top of that.